All right, we're live. Welcome back to Roundtable, episode number 21. Really? And I know that you're seeing Benji sitting here right now, and you're probably getting ready to jump off the stream. But don't go, because there's a bunch of people behind the camera that we're going to bring on here. And we're going to talk about the Moore Expo. First of all, Benji, nice hat. Thanks, brother. It looks really good. It's It hasn't come off in a while. In a while. I was going to ask if it's come off at all this weekend. It did for a little bit, but the sun came out okay. today. So this morning it was cold, and in this afternoon it was you know sunny, and right now it's freezing cold. We've got Pruitt Knives of Valor back here spilling his beverage all over the place. Trying to unwind over uh. here, and he kicks his drink over. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord said you're done. <laughs> yeah. Cut you off. That's it for tonight. Um, okay, cool. So here's what I wanted to do. I reached out to a bunch of my buddies, and you're in that group, believe it or not, for now. And <laughs> just wanted to know what are some cool things that you saw at more stood out to you? Maybe you thought was a cool product, cool vendor, or maybe a cool experience. It can be anything. Something that was right. cool for 2024. Yeah. More Expo. Go. go. I like the flow of it this year. It yeah. felt like um, Storyteller Row was a little bit more organized mm -hmm. um, to a point. Um, and then that, that helped branch off into the outdoor space as far as the outdoor vendors. And then you could kind of flow back into the buildings. The Power Sports Expo next door was fantastic. Yeah. It, there was a ton of people here. It did not feel like there was a ton of people here because yeah. of the, the amount of flow there was. That's a really good point. Something that multiple people have mentioned to me where they're like, man, it felt like the numbers were down. Yeah. And I was like, did you go look at the camping area? Yeah. Because the camping area was more full than it's ever been in the last three yeah. years. The reason is they did a better job with spreading out the space. 100%. And, um, yeah, I, I loved the fact that it was less congested than yeah. it's felt previous years. And, and even in the East and West Hall, you know, yeah. those used to be really tight. Yep. And now they everyone – I guess there's a lot of repeat vendors, so they already have okay. an idea of how things flow. Yeah. So I'm sure that they help with maybe the newbie guys and stuff. But they know how to set up their, their – their space, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. To where it's not too cluttered, but yet it's cool, and they 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 get their point across as to what they're doing here. But yeah, the, just the feng shui. Yeah, I mean the expo has matured and it's really dialed in kind of yeah. its style, and you can see that from the vendor all the way up to the the staff and everything. So that's mm -hmm. that's cool. And the people, people are awesome. the people, most of them. I think all of them. Some of them wear goofy hats. <sighs> all right, what else you got? What's another What's another thing you liked? I liked the fact that I'm able to do this with you. Yeah, man. This is fun, though. It is. If there's no agenda, right? Then that's the that's been the vibe. Yeah. I did ten or twelve interviews shorts today. Yeah. And everybody's just chill. You know, yeah. nobody cared. It was like we're just talking. It's like totally. It's, but it's always a good time. That that was something the guys at the Fittipaldi booth. I just was getting my stuff packed up over there. And they're used to doing big truck, like show trucks, spinners, all that kind of stuff. And they were like, dude, this community is totally different. Like, you mm -hmm. guys are, like, all, like, polite and well-behaved. And they're used to, like, a more rowdy, yeah. I guess. And they're like, everyone was super cool here. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I, so did they enjoy it? Did they like yeah, it? Yeah, they did. They will be they back. Did. They will be back. Sweet. Cool. Um, okay, so we're going to jump to the next person, okay. unless you got something else that you want to throw out. Nope. Love one another. Don't do anything stupid. And, uh Get out there. Have some fun. Buy cool hats. All right. Awesome. Stream live from your iPhone. Choo, choo, choo. <laughs> Next up, who wants to come? And I'm going to pick you. <laughs> now, I didn't I didn't uh, I say this earlier to Benji. I, I do a lot of podcasts with him. But I want, when you guys come up, if you wouldn't mind, tell us uh, your name and who you're with, uh, any anything like that, and just get the mic real close to you. Got it. I'm I'm Casey with Black Truck Adventures. Yep. And this is our first year on Storyteller Row, and I think that was my favorite part of more. Yeah. Being able to be here and talk with a lot of people, not just in our community, but people that came up and were really asking about the rigs. Yeah. And wondering how do you get started in this? Yeah. And what all does it take? Yeah. And sometimes we would talk technical about the rigs. Yep. But a lot of times I'm just telling them, whatever you've got, that's what you need. Yeah. Get totally. out there and go out and experience things and then just whatever fits your style yeah build out your rig that way and don't be in a hurry to build it out just figure out what you want before yeah. you start building and you probably know like a, uh, like a lot of us a lot of it's trial and error like 
you do something basic. You just get your rig, even if it's stock, and you go out, and then you find out as you kind of do it, like, okay, the next thing I want to do is, you know, a lift, or the next thing I want to do, you kind of learn as you go. It doesn't have to be like, I got to spend a ton of money all at once, you know? No, 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 and that that's something that we were able to do yeah. as we built our rigs out, and sometimes we, we'd try something, and it just didn't work for us, yeah. and we'd have to go a different direction, or we'd find out some problem or challenge that we could fix the challenge, but it wasn't worth the what we gave up right. in order to fix that challenge. Right, right. Yeah, super cool. What what is y'all's rig again? Tell, tell me what you're uh, running. We've got black truck and walk away. Black okay. truck is a is a GMC Sierra. Yep. And walk away is a Chevy Colorado. Love it. And uh, <clears throat> both of them are configured to be capable overland rigs, mm -hmm. but they have different purposes. Black truck is more of for going out and doing stupid stuff. Or excuse yeah. me. <laughs> walk away is more for doing stupid stuff. Yeah. Black truck is for getting us home. Yeah, no, I love it. And I like the rigs, too, because you see so many Toyotas and Jeeps, and you guys kind of got a little different thing going. Yeah, we're, cool. we we got a different thing going, and that was one of the things. We had a lot of we had a lot of Chevy people come up to us and ask us specific Chevy questions, which was, which was a great That's experience cool. for us. Yeah, it's cool to see your rig represented, too, coming down and walking through here, whether it be the vendors or the storytellers, and seeing me like, oh. That's what I want to build. Like, that's my, my deal. Uh, in terms of the expo, was there anything that stood out to you, vendor or product, anything that caught your eye going through over the weekend? Well, it was good to see some of the same vendors that we've seen with a with a big presence yeah. and see the vendors doing well. Yeah. And that makes me feel that the community is doing well and we've got a thriving community. Man, I totally agree. A lot of us were wondering if this was going to be like the COVID bump and then once everything opened back up, it was going to like – die off you know and what i mean i really don't see that happening i don't I think the covid bump just gave us a start it just sped up the growth and yeah. introduced a lot more people to the to the yeah. sport yeah no i i was very much one that got bit by the bug when everything got shut down i was like well we're heading to the woods because we can't do anything else and i'm i'm not going anywhere i love it i love it so i'm right there with you well, awesome, Caleb, thank you for having me. Yeah, dude, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And by the way, in the stream, when this is done, I'm going to link everybody's stuff that joined in today down below. So definitely go check out all their content. Follow them, subscribe, all that stuff. Appreciate you, man. Thanks. Okay, next up, you want to go? Awesome. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so this one's going to be cool. So tell, you know, tell who you are what you're with if you have a handle or a name any of that and then before we jump into your questions talk about our connection where we kind of yeah. ran into each other yeah and push this right up next to your face all right i am john um i am brand new to overlanding and i built out a ridiculous vehicle and it's amazing it is really cool it is um i started healing trails overland yeah and it's brand new and so yeah we met because uh, I'm like, I didn't watch YouTube. I don't know who any of these guys are. <laughs> um, I was searching stuff for overlanding, and there was a couple of key people that I watched. And when you opened up about some stuff, mm. it we messaged, and yeah. then we actually got to meet. And yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, we had, we, had, we had some shared experiences through dealing with some things that were traumatic to us. Yeah. And, um, and have both worked through it and i that's one of the things i love about this community man is the connections and the friendships that form yeah. and and this is the first time me and you got to hang out in person all yeah. of our conversations been online yeah so i love that dude i love it um okay so you're running a dirt box yeah. like the the same thing as my buddy grant right it's the full bed replacement yes whole deal talk a little bit about that uh, that product yeah so two months ago i had a stock 22 Ford Ranger mm -hmm. and my wife and I had a dream to build this out we've been working on it forever uh, we found Adventure Motors in Kansas City mm -hmm. worked with them we it, there's the only thing stock on it is the cab mm -hmm. and the motor for right now uh, we replaced the bed with the dirt box flatbed the full canopy rooftop tent awning uh, I went with kick-ass products for the power yep um, it's cool it is so cool. I've walked by it several times. I love it. Uh, any vendors or products that stood out to you here at the expo this weekend? Yeah, this was my first expo ever. And oh, wow. so it was pretty overwhelming. And yeah. I had to stand and talk about my truck. That was exhausting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Welcome I, to the club. <laughs> I did make it around and I got the uh, 
I was born. It's like a Ranger roll. Air oh mattress. yeah, 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 yeah. I bought one of those. So and that's gonna I be awesome. Cannot wait to sleep in it tonight. Yeah. So you're putting it in the rig tonight. Yep. Gonna test it out. Yep. All right. So you have to message me and let me know if it's all as cracked up to be or not. Yeah. It looks like like a cool deal. I walked past it and checked it out. Getting the mattress right is important. Oh, the yeah. Yeah. You can't. You don't sleep good. You'll you won't do this long. Yeah. So getting that Especially right. Especially when you can feel every bone in your body yeah. touching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, me and you need to do another whole podcast episode of some time because I think that we could really go go down some cool places yeah. talking about ex- past experiences and stuff. So let's Absolutely. definitely make that happen. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks for hanging out, dude. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's let's do the knife man. Come on, knife guy. <laughs> Just bring them all out. <laughs> okay. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Biggest knife wins. <laughs> Wait, that would be you. Uh, yes, so I have the Arkansas Butter Knife by Pruitt Knives Valor. And uh, it's basically a samurai sword. And it's the most amazing thing ever. And what's funny is, does it need to be that big for what I use it for? Yes. Absolutely not. <laughs> but uh, I wouldn't change it one bit. Yeah. So how was the show for you? You you were making knives. I were hearing tink, tink, tink all day. Oh, yeah. So I really wasn't making knives. I was just banging on the anvil. <laughs> uh, I, I actually, I got a couple forged out to uh, one one I worked on yesterday, but people kept coming by, so I didn't really have a chance to work on it much. Got it finished up this morning. and That's a good problem to have, though. Did another one this afternoon. Yeah, it was a great problem to have. Yeah. Um, also, I, you know, you know how I hate talking to people. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, if I'm you, not much if, of a talker. If, I'm very quiet. If you quiet. don't know Michael, he is the most extroverted person I've maybe <laughs> ever met in my life. So, yes, definitely yeah. does not hate talking to so, people. But it was it was a fun event. I got to meet a ton of a ton of people. Um, I, I got to sell quite a few knives, take a few orders. Cool. Um, so it was a great event. Awesome, man. All right, Expo. Anything stood out to you? I know you're mainly working in your booth. So yeah, I really didn't. I didn't leave my booth much, but I will say, I think it was Roller Cam. Yes. With those sweet straps. So I had never, I hadn't seen the the way uh, the straps they did for the paracords, or yeah. the hooks, and the way the paracords ran through. Um, they were out of them when I got a chance to swing by, uh, but they gave me a they gave me a discount code, so I'm definitely gonna be ordering some of those. Dude, Roller Cam. I've got I've got a, a ton of them in here. I love having various size straps. They they are low resistance, allow you to cinch them up tighter. Yeah. Like I, it, those are such a simple product you don't think about until you need it, and then you wish you had it. Exactly. Those yeah. are those are awesome. Those, uh, those I want to use a lot for tie down straps because I'm usually camping out of my gazelle. So if yeah. I need to tie down the sides, I can just whip those out real quick and tie it down real quick and not have to worry about it. Yeah. Dude, that's super cool. In a minute here, I'm going to get my, my Arkansas Butter Knife because he made me a new leather sheath for that that beast, and it's incredible. So I'll show it on here in a minute. Yeah, sweet, man. Sweet. Thanks, bro. Thanks for having me. Yep. Uh, let's see. Y'all want to go? Sure. Right. Who, whoever. I, yeah. Oh, yeah. You just do that the rest of the rest of the episode. Right. There's two chairs. Y'all can go separate or together, whatever you want to do. Okay. Oh, we got a we got an iPhone here that's getting donated. I don't know who that goes to. <clears throat> okay, so you've got the coolest name ever uh, because he's Caleb and I'm Caleb. So that's right. here are the Calebs. What's funny at, at the uh, expo, everybody calls me Baker because I guess because the channel is Baker Overland. Right. Yeah. Um, but before I was doing this, it was all Caleb. I was so used to that. And then I come here and it's all Baker, Baker, right. Baker. I understand that. But Caleb and Paige from No Barriers, I'll put links down below like I am for everybody. Um, how was the expo for you guys? Loved it. So we were actually here only for the day. Um, okay. Past couple of years we've been here every day. But this year we chose just to come for the day, trying to save some time, working full time and trying to travel. You have to really – consider what days you're going to take off of work you know oh, what I mean? definitely. so you, you really have to plan that out so this this time um we only came for the day being a weekend and everything else but being that this event's pretty much our backyard yeah you know it, we have to come yeah. and see everybody i mean just the community and all the people we've met so many times throughout these events and 
traveling in general, you're going to find them at these these places for sure. Yeah, I, I think today I, I screamed at y'all across the <laughs> across the way. I was talking to someone else. And I was on like, the Caleb and Page. Yeah. You I was like the first person it. we saw when yeah. we walked in. So. <laughs> <laughs> They're like this guy again. <laughs> no, 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 never. It's uh, been a great day. That's sure. awesome. That's yeah. awesome. What about uh, okay? So vendors, products, anything stood out to either one of y'all? Um, you know, so we've been to a few expos that a lot of this same familiar yeah. faces are there but um this year i would say like hatch adventures um yeah we went by their booth and um they they like rent out their vehicles in montana yeah. Yeah. Um, they were they were pretty cool and uh aeronaut the blankets the down blankets i don't oh, know if you saw those, i didn't see those they were really cool um shw uh off-road their uh Oh, uh, drawer, systems, like drawer systems and stuff. Systems. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did so see that. I did see that. Lots of cool, you know, new products, I guess, yeah. for us. Yeah, so you were like, mentioning earlier about the rental deal. That was pretty cool. Yeah. That yeah. seems like a cool thing. So, so that that's Hatch. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, yeah, that's Hatch. So, okay. Yeah, so, and if you look at their vehicles, if you ever get the chance to check it out, they have, like, premium vehicles. The vehicles yeah. that they're using, just like the one that's in, the is, the, is a Grenadier. I think they were telling me they have like a, a Raptor Bronco, and they got a brand new Forerunner coming in. It's like shifting and getting shipped in, and everything else. So like, they have some premium vehicles you can go out and play with. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, like I mean, y- you've heard of other like companies doing this, sure. but you know they kind of have like the the normal kind of run of the mill vehicles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. These you get to have a chance to you know get a vehicle that maybe you can't even afford, right? And go out and play with and it. see what it's, it's a like. rental, man. It's I mean, that's so wild. cool. Yeah, it is so cool. Yeah, like I've seen stuff like this in like the sports car space. Like yeah, you know, where like but, you can go and rent it at a track or whatever and run right, it around maybe right. a few laps or something like that. It's crazy. I wonder what the insurance has got to be for something like that. And this it's got to be through the roof. Yeah, uh, yeah. Crazy. That's that's good for them to find out. Yeah, I'll just I'll just borrow the vehicle. Yeah, I just go play with it, mud. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Anything else that stood out to y'all, or those are the main things? Man, I just want to give you know a shout out to you know the 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 people that we use like Iron Man, you know. Yeah. Um, that's our family. Yeah, that's that's yeah. our family. Uh, you know, check that out. You know, the options that they have. Obviously, like you can find so many different, but, but the the time we've spent with their product is great. So we got to give them a shout out. We got to give you know SHW that they're definitely given. I feel like uh, Goose Gear could yeah. give them a run yeah. for sure uh, their product is cool yeah but goose gear no doubt is still awesome product sure and they they have a uh, grenadier or yeah. whatever in there mm. already decked out really so i was like man y'all are on it so it's cool and um saw another cross track build in inside okay so yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah which is you know super cross tracks what we drive if it, nobody knows that and uh so it's really cool to catch up with some super guys here at the at the show so yeah you know. That's so awesome. Yeah, yeah. I love the Subaru crowd. You see those. And people don't realize, like, th- those things can be wheeled, like, yes. pretty hard. Go ahead. Yeah, so, <laughs> I'm sorry. She's so, like, oh, I yeah, know. Yeah, so <laughs> so if anybody knows trails, we've we've done two Jeep Badge of Honor trails in our car for sure. Uh, we've done Schnebly. We've done Black Gap Trail. But we also have done Stony Pass in Colorado wow. and uh, different things like that. So those vehicles are capable. Yeah. You know, you might have to weave around and take your time and everything else. But the vehicles, for what they are, are very, very capable vehicles. And, uh, you know, it's... It's just one of those things that that's what we had, so that's what we ran. That's so cool. Yeah. That's so cool. Well, thanks guys so much. Oh, by the way, I loved your eclipse. Uh, you're, you're capturing the eclipse thing when you guys like freaked out whenever yes. it hit. Yeah. I, I it was, was true emotion <laughs> from Caleb. There, 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 you just, there is absolutely, absolutely nothing that could have prepared me for what I was about to see when I took that off. Yeah. So if anybody saw that, that was just like genuine reaction <laughs> to that there was no faking was that best. yeah that was so fun i loved watching that yeah. it was really cool yeah Thanks man for having us. yeah absolutely and uh just you know one of my sayings for everybody that i like to say is start where you can and go where you want don't yes. let anybody else tell you what to do yes yeah. that's so good yeah. that's so good i love it yeah. i love it all right Thank thanks you. guys yep. all right i don't even care whoever's next just come on there he is bro i, I i'm i i'm Part of me wants to talk to you about this shirt. Part of me is scared to death to talk to you about this shirt. <laughs> well, what's up with the shirt? First of all, thank you, Baker. Yeah, that's man. awesome. So the shirt. Get that mic right up in your mouth, so real close. All right, this go. shirt 
if anybody don't know who Lee Odom is for <laughs> Overland Radio, which oh, I'm pretty sure a bunch yeah. everybody does. There you go. If not, you probably do from this event. Yeah. Uh, I designed the the picture with his head on it, with him in a bikini, and <laughs> it was a prank pulled by I, I believe uh, Ashley Odom and Jeff Odom. Okay. So they pranked him this morning with like five different shirts. With oh, all of man. us wearing them. That's awesome. So there's supposed to be a radio show that he's putting on, I think, Tuesday. Uh-huh. He actually has his shirt that he's going to end up wearing, too. So oh, awesome. He's, he he went along with the prank. It worked out great. That's cool. That's cool. Hey, pull your hat off real quick just so we can oh, blow yeah, everyone's yeah. mind. Just because the pink Bam! is the the suit. <laughs> that is. And also, my wife, could, if she couldn't find me, she knew she could find me. So. Epic. <laughs> Epic. <laughs> Well, real quick, for the people that don't know, tell us uh, your name, your, your who you're with, and then we'll get into the more questions. Okay. All right. Basically, I'm Sean Owens. Uh, we operate under Owens Overland. Yep. Uh, I drive the green Xterra, which was the only Xterra that I've seen here that was a first-gen that's green. They had Rogue Overland with their silver one here. Uh I mean, I don't know what else you really want to know about. No, that, that. That, that's great. That's the main things. And I, I'm putting this stuff down below, but I just want to uh, make sure everybody knows because we all have different audiences and mm-hmm. sometimes uh, they don't know. So in terms of the expo, I'm going to ask you the same thing I asked everybody so far. Like what what stood out to you? Any products, any experiences, vendors, what? Um, well, uh, this being our second year here, actually, as storytellers, uh, we were actually in the market to look at trailers. Oh, wow. So the trailer market that we noticed this year was not shy by any means. There, no, there, it wasn't. Dude, you can't throw a rock and not hit four. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> a fact. Out here is nothing but tra- it's like It's like 60% trailers, man. Yeah, and I think we actually may have our eyes set on one or two. We just got to dwindle out which one we don't want. And- well, you got every option under the sun. Yeah. You can almost just pick the style you want, and then whatever state you're in, there's probably one being made there. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's and like- the options are unreal. It's like yeah. wild. That was I got to work with the race secure blindness guys over at Expedition Trailers and seeing what all they can add into a trailer now is just mind blowing. Yeah, like that's crazy. you 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 can think you can dream it, they can make it happen. Yep, that's cool. Awesome. So, do you have a particular brand you're leaning towards? Um, not necessarily. I know the wife actually leaned more this evening with more information that was given to us through I believe it's called Tiny tiny trailer okay yeah um i really i mean it, this is probably just me being a guy but i really like the chaperones sure but that's like dream money there but yeah i mean yeah. who knows i might win the lottery more there you go <laughs> <laughs> playing the long term yep. anything else besides the trailer stood out to you um there's a lot of extra new gear this year that i really liked and that's mostly what i usually try to come for i bought some new gear hey i might need this you know kind of thing mm-hmm. so i mean other than that that kind of sounds like me i I show up to these kind of as a clean slate and just walk in and looking for like ideas of ways to just you know we're always tweaking our setups and we're looking even if it's not buying something that's looking for how could i do this more efficiently how could i well especially with me owning a nissan and there's not many nissan parts out there available especially for a 2000 nissan i look at it and go how can i make that work yeah Right. And eventually I have to fab something off of what they've mm-hmm. already designed. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, my buddy Fletch, he's got a Nissan and he kind of said the same thing. Mm-hmm. He was like, you know, it's such a Toyota and Jeep dominated space that uh, you know, sometimes the rest of guys got to be more creative than than the other ones. Yeah, you got to be creative. <laughs> there you go. You got it. You got that dialed in. Sweet man. Well, thanks for hopping on here. Sure. I'm going to jump to the next person. Awesome. Appreciate you. Mm-hmm. Whoop. Uh, don't don't <laughs> don't do that. I got caught on my phone. <laughs> Hop on here, man. I would love to have you on. And good luck with that chair. Everyone's kind of struggling with it. Hopefully it doesn't. There you go. There you go. Uh, okay, so tell us name, who you're with, all that good stuff. Scott Piercy. I'm with Dunnage Garage. Okay. Yeah. Um, we do overlanding and garage projects right now. Awesome. Um, we're career firefighter, getting ready to retire. Love Before it. I go full time YouTube um, overlanding, we got to have projects to fill the t- space for the content. Absolutely. So when you say so, you guys do like actual builds. Uh, we've worked on my two Jeeps, my buddy's Jeep, Matt, his wife's Jeep. We've brought yeah. Toyotas in, and just if whatever it needs, if it needs an axle, we'll take care of an axle. Wow. If it needs bearings, 
If we need to build a custom box or just custom parts, we That's do that cool. as well. So it's whatever we need to do to get ready and keep our vehicles going. That's really cool. Where, where are you guys out of? Grand Island, Nebraska. Man, that's awesome. So, are you guys also doing stuff like suspensions, and or are you mainly like maintenance, or like, what's your what's your whatever story? needs to happen? If we decide we're putting a lift kit in, we're doing a lift kit. Um, that's cool. We need to put in rock lights, rock lights, running boards, whatever. It's whatever you'd see here at the expo that we're yeah. looking through the catalogs, going, we want this, and we're also driven by our uh, our viewers. If they yeah. reach out and say, hey. We want to see something about gear ratios because we don't know much about them. So, yep. all right, we're going to take the time. We're going to study up gear ratios, and we're going to give you the down and dirty gear ratio talk and real-world practical. Oh, that's really good. I love uh, a lot of the I, – I came into the space from a uh, non-mechanical background. I came in with – I do technical web-related work, and so I came into the space, and I knew nothing. And so I was on YouTube like 24-7 just like you said gear ratios why to re-gear my truck i was like okay well I, what does that even mean you right. know and so i'm looking for like information so it's content and, like that's really valuable and if you make the wrong choice that's an expensive mistake yeah and so being tell me to, about it, i blew up my rear end twice right so, so you want to talk to somebody who has <laughs> yeah. the same gear ratios the same vehicles and see what they think about it and get an honest opinion going this is real world for us and we're, we're not out trying to sell you anything we're just yeah. this is our experience and if we make a mistake, we laugh about it and go, sorry, guys, you're seeing two minutes of it. This took us 20 hours. Right, right. No, that's super cool, man. So let me let me ask you this. Um, in terms of the expo, you guys, you know, your feet are probably just as tired as mine from walking around everywhere. What stood out to you? What was cool to you? Uh, for us, I think the two things that stand out is the vendors. They're amazing vendors. Uh, Devos off uh, lights. Yep. I love their light products and all roads taken, the badges, being yeah. able to have memories That's cool. of all the trips, whether it's a state or a trail or a, a national park. Yeah. That is amazing. Just being able to look at the badges and go, oh, yeah, I remember that trip. That was yeah. great. But I think the most humbling for me on this trip was people coming up and going, hey, how's your health? We saw that you had a cancer scare last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had I had one gentleman come up to us in Storyteller Row and go, I need to shake your hand because you were the first person we talked to last year. You, Your information was spot on. You helped us with all the equipment that we got through watching your videos, and we now go overlanding and camping all the time because of you and your How channel. Cool. And How it's, cool. What do you say to that? It's yeah. like, I'm just, I'm a firefighter yeah. and I picked up YouTube for a hobby. You're right. And you're getting to see it become something that's more than that. Right. And, and that's cool. I, I, you feel awkward standing in front of the camera and being, yeah, people are laughing at me, laughing at me. Yes, but sir. then you have the people come up to you and go, you know, what you're doing matters. Yeah. And that is, it's humbling. And, and it, makes a, it makes any awkward moment or time spent editing or any of that it makes it worth it. Yes. It I'm does. right there with you. It started as just a fun hobby to me, like a, like just something almost I did as a joke and it became, I mean, this has become a community that is so much bigger than that. Right. You know? I agree. I agree. Uh, that's really cool. That's really cool, man. Well, thanks so much for popping on here. I'm gonna make sure to link your stuff down below. Outstanding. And, Thank you uh, very much. And appreciate it. We'll talk to you later. Okay. Have a great thanks, day. Thanks, bro. Yep. Come on, man. Shirt, yeah <laughs> yeah i saw you in shorts and a t-shirt and i said i'm gonna push him to the end we're gonna make him suffer i'm used to it i get it all the time i, I wear shorts almost year round so this is me okay so i would talk a little bit about how, how we connected early you you just popped over you're yep. a vendor here yeah right and you guys you're with um jeep and exploring jeep and exploring okay yep. i want you to talk about that in a minute mm -hmm. but how we connected is you just walked over here and you said, yeah, I've seen your stuff on YouTube and we right. were chatting. Right. And you kind of started telling me about what your group did. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, dude, you got to come on the, you yeah. got to come on the live stream in a little yep. bit. So tell us a little bit about what your group does. So, um, this will be, I believe the six year for it's called Jeep and for a cure. Um, we do an event in Ozark, Missouri at James river Jeep. 
Um, last year we had, I think, 560-something Jeeps Man. and raised over $500,000 for Holy breast cancer. Holy cow, dude. Um, 100% of everything we do, we're non-for-profit. It all goes to the families that are affected by breast cancer. Wow. Um, there's a local organization called BCFO, Breast Cancer Foundation of the Ozarks. They cover everybody in the Ozarks, whether it be Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri. So they, they help a lot of people. So... What we done is we decided uh, we was generous, and, or they was generous enough to give us a booth here this year to uh, come out, and so cool. uh, it was a great event. Um, but yeah, we've got some new things coming this year. We're doing, we're going to be doing some charity rides and all that stuff, trying to to add to that and everything, and just do more than just that one event. Um, we also branched out last year. It was the first year we branched to Florida. Oh wow! We went to uh, Bartow, Florida last year and got them started down there and that was our first event down there so we went down there and got them going so we're going to try to branch out in some other states and been talking to some people this weekend hopefully we can get one in wisconsin possibly and possibly one down in dallas texas so dude that's so cool when we were talking earlier i think something that we were, were chatting about is you know we would do this stuff the wheeling and the camp and we do it regardless right. but it's cool when you can find out some way to make it um have more of an impact right like we talked about, I just started working with the Race to Cure Blindness. You were talking about what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And it's like, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you do what you love and have it have a little bit more significance? Right. You know. Absolutely. I, it's, it's I, a I love what you I love it. So, and then to see, I see the, I have people come to me all the time. They're survivors and everything. And just the impact that it has, it's, it's amazing. So, I Dude. wouldn't trade it for anything. So cool, man. So cool. All right. So, in terms of the expo, is this your first more? Um, I this is my first year coming here working a vendor booth. Okay. Um, I've been here two other times. I came to the very first one they had. Oh wow! It yeah. basically was just everything indoors, and basically the parking lot was just parking. Yeah. Um, so it was a lot smaller than this. Yeah. But, yeah. And then uh, we came last year. We'd skipped a few years, and then we came last year, and and uh, I'd seen how big it had grown. I was like, man, I got to come back. And this year I got the opportunity to come work it and spend the weekend. So it was awesome. Yeah, seeing the growth, that was a big one for me, how much it's changed. Yeah. Um, any product vendor that stood out to you? Um, you know, I, I, I seen a lot of the ones that, you know, I'd seen last year and everything, but I do want to give a shout out to uh, Instaprivy. Um, yeah, 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 that's I, the that's a bathroom deal, the right? The bathroom deal. Yeah. Um, we're getting ready to the first weekend in May. We're going to go do a four day trip down in the Washitas and all that. And um, being that I'm fairly new to overlanding, there's a lot of things I don't have yet. And yeah. uh, I approached those guys, and even though I'm a small channel just starting out, they uh, they was willing to work with me and cool, and, bro. and they hooked me up, and I'm going to advertise nice. for them. So it was nice to see somebody to reach out to somebody you know my size and willing to work with me yeah i'm not not a huge channel or sure anything by yet so they're they took a chance on a guy like myself small so you know i'm gonna do my best for them and do yep. that and go from sometimes there, so. they know the small guys are gonna hustle and put more effort into yeah. it because they got more to prove yeah and whereas the big guys are like yeah i'll give you a 30 second integration on my trip video or yeah. something you know what i mean yeah so i i'm right i i think that there is value to them in working yeah. with smaller channels yeah absolutely but, yeah that thing's a cool product getting your bathroom thing figured out nobody likes to talk about it but you know taking a dump in the woods is not fun yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it has to happen but the more convenient and easy you can make it yeah the better yeah yeah i was so confused because that little tent's like this tall i was like what's that is that for kids and they're like no you just put, put it, it on, on your, your head, head and you yeah. sit down take care of business done yeah it's a cool product yeah it's so a really cool I'm product. A, I'm gonna do a video for them and all that stuff and that's cool and help them out and they help me out so love it dude I love it well thanks so much for popping on here yeah and uh, I'll make sure and link what 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 is the website you want me to link is there a um, site for if they want information on uh, the breast cancer stuff yeah. um, it's jeepandforacure.com okay and as far as I go um, all my events that I'm gonna be hosting for them um, go to my Facebook at Jeeping and Exploring Jeeping and, and Exploring. also you know YouTube I'll be posting everything on there on YouTube Jeeping and Exploring so killer so, awesome bro well thanks right. for popping in thanks for having go, me go uh, put on some long pants and a coat yeah I'm, I'm going home warm. <laughs> <laughs> awesome let's go whoever's up next what's up hey. oh sorry dude <laughs>
Thanks for being patient. One of our previous guests left his drink up here, and he's been just sitting here waiting. All right, so I'm going to make sure I get you both in the shot. You're in the shot, and you scoot up just a little bit, if you don't mind. Perfect. And then whoever's talking, just grab the mic and, and kind of put it in front of you so I can hear you. Okay, so you guys had a booth right behind me, exactly. a vendor booth, and you're, 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 you sell merch, mm -hmm. clothing, apparel, all sorts of stuff, right? Yes, Talk a little bit about what you guys do and what you make and what you sell. Yeah, so uh, the name of our brand is Beyond Boundaries, and so the whole idea is to um, promote mental wellness through outdoor exploration, so just really getting people outside, um, exploring nature, and to really help with mental health, especially with all the distractions um, today, just of everyday life. There's so much going on, so much noise, and so it really is um, just great that hopefully our apparel really does inspire people to get outside and find the peace in nature. So, One thing I love about that, I actually recently made a video, and it, I wanted to start showing, like, working at a desk and showing like life getting chaotic and notifications coming in and the news being overwhelming and then like shutting it grabbing my gear and heading to the woods Absolutely. because it's like a full reset oh right? my gosh yeah, yeah, yeah. and like I, I tell my wife summer all the time i was like this is how i charge my batteries yeah. like sometimes i'm like i'm on e i gotta i gotta head I like out that. actually that's a good way to look at it recharge yeah. batteries and i love what, what you guys when we were chatting you know i saw apparel and i was like oh that's cool but it, but it was when you said what your mission statement was then i was like oh that's that's really cool oh yeah and and this uh, whole event has been incredible the people we've met i mean, met you and so many others and it's just been amazing the, the opportunities we found to collaborate with other people and um, hopefully even get some overlanding rides together too to to really hit that home as far as that mission of just getting out and getting away from everything that's really cool and so uh so who is are, are you guys a partner of partners yes. in yep. the business are you owners like how's that work yeah yeah so um so i'm riley um one of the founders and then this is nick uh, one of the co-founders um cool. as well and um so we're best friends from college and cool. um just yeah started the brand and Kind of initially all started, um, we grew up going to Greer's Ferry Lake in Arkansas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and so... Um, Love Greer's Ferry. Yeah, and so it's it's been super fun. Like, so I got three older sisters, all super kind of girly girls, like they'll admit it and say, like, they're high maintenance. And, and even <laughs> we found out, like, going to Greer's, you know, it's, it's not commercialized at all. It's, it's yeah. just so peaceful when you're there. Yeah. And um, they'll even say, like, oh, even the highest maintenance of all of us in our family, like, just love going there and just resetting, getting away from everything. And so that's really was kind of the inspiration, actually, behind the brand was that um, really anybody, um, no matter if you're from the city or the country, can can find that piece of nature there. Yeah. So. And so you two are buds, grown up together, and you're like, let's make an outdoor apparel, com apparel company. Mm -hmm. How long have you been doing it? Um, so a little under a year now. I'm okay. just really getting off our feet. This is actually our first expo. Cool. I was going to ask that next. Oh, my gosh. And it's been incredible. Like, this was such an awesome experience. Super, super happy with how it's turned out. That's really um, cool. Yeah. And then, and so you said your name was? So I'm Riley. Riley, and you were? Nick Fossil. Okay, Nick. And me and you were talking about some stuff earlier. So you also do some, like, truck work in this space. You were kind of familiar with the space. Were you the one that kind of was like, this outdoor apparel thing could make a lot of sense in the Overland community? Yeah, so uh, I obviously, like, Riley kind of talked to me about, you know, what his brand was and, you know, all the ideas and the thoughts he had and uh, obviously the mission behind it. And, yeah. Uh, that was something I immediately attached to and, and just knew I could kind of hook my wagon to. Yeah. And um, we began to start kind of collaborating and, and trying to figure out, hey, you know, where do we sell this stuff? Who do we sell it to? Um, who is gonna, even going to be interested in this? And um, I do some overlanding myself. I work at Conquest right. Automotive and Off-Road um, in Boonville, Missouri. Shameless plug. Um, <laughs> plug and, it. That's and, what we're uh, doing. Uh, and so... Um, you know, been there for a while, and you know the Jeep community is great, the Bronco community is great, um, and I was like, these people truly understand what our apparel brand is all about. Yeah. Uh, and I said, hey, man, the the more expos coming up, we can't miss it. Yeah, yeah, dude, that's so cool. Okay, so so you're in, uh, you said Bentonville, Missouri. Uh, Boonville. Yeah, Boonville. It's right next to Columbia. Yeah. Okay, we have a Bentonville, Arkansas. Yeah. <laughs> so I heard Bentonville. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and uh, so you mentioned Grizz Ferry Lake. Uh, were you guys in Arkansas at some point? Um, so, so that's just where my family, uh, we have a lake house there. And so oh, okay. Go, yeah, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. That's kind of our getaway. Cool. Love it, man. Okay. So in terms of the expo, you mentioned like that it was really cool. This was your first one being a vendor here. 
what uh, did you? I know vendors don't really get to go out at quite as much as the rest of us and like look at everything. But did anything stand out to you that you thought was cool while you were here? I think you know one of the things that I I I've been to many many trade shows with different um, uh, industries, and I have never been to a trade show where all the vendors are so welcoming to everybody. Yeah. Um, I mean, what an incredible place to just get together and collaborate. I mean, what we're doing now. Yeah. Right? Um, and so many other vendors have been so helpful to us. Um, we want to do some cross marketing and I mean, everything's just a possibility. So yeah. just a great group of people, great, great companies, great businesses, great, I mean, great channels. Yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, it's, it's just been a great experience. Yeah. It's everybody's got everyone's back. It's like even the competitors, even people that are like direct competitors. It's like, it's good for all of us if the industry continues to grow. And Absolutely. so it's like. Even if it, even if one company loses a customer to another company, as long as they're staying in the space, ultimately it's going to trickle down to everybody. So yeah, I think that it's a it's kind of a unique market in that regard because like, uh, yeah, it's not as cutthroat as other places. Yeah, I've spent know. some time in the automotive industry and that's <laughs> super cutthroat, right? right? right, right. <laughs> um, so coming here has been really refreshing. Sure. Uh, so. Well, that's super cool, guys. Thanks so much for popping on here. I'll make sure and put your stuff down below. What websites do you want me to promote? Yeah, so um, so you can find us at beyondboundariesbrand.com. Beyondboundariesbrand.com. Um, Got that's it. That's also our handle for Instagram as well, so you can okay. so catch us out on there. Awesome. And you want to promote the shop as well? Yeah, Conquest Automotive and Off-Road. Just look us up on Facebook. So. Cool. Yeah, we don't have enough uh, Overland Upfitters in my region. I was mentioning here earlier, like you can go west to Okeola Overland, they're great. You can go to, out to West Plain, Missouri, to Ozark Overland Outfitters, they're great. But if you like live in Fayetteville, Arkansas, that's like several hours. It's yeah. nice to know like that there's more places popping up to make it more, you know, well, accessible. What, yeah, what's funny is that we talked about the waiting time, right? Right. So you want to do a build and you have to wait six weeks, two, you know, two months. Or uh, more. Three months, yeah. I mean, it, more. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's even six months. So. Yeah. Uh, one of the things we pride ourselves on is basically once you get the build put together with us, uh, give us a week, maybe two, uh, to get the parts in, and then we get you in. Uh, we put you on the schedule whenever you order the parts. So That's cool. We don't wait around. Uh, we don't let any grass grow. So if you're serious about you know getting it done and uh, um, getting out in, in nature, give us a give us a holler. Sweet, awesome. Well, thanks so much, guys. Awesome. awesome. Really appreciate your time. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. All right. You want to go? Sure. Come on. And then let's see. And we'll, we'll do you, and then we will do Summer. Hey, Summer, real quick, you want to bump my uh, my ISO, or do you want me to do it? Stand by, everybody. We The sun is going down on us. There we go. Hey. hey. This is what live streams are all about. <laughs> I just looked down here at the screen, and I was like, ooh, we, you can't see anything. <clears throat> this other chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get out of oh. Pick your chair. Sorry, we have a we have a a, a, a very poor chair selection here at no, Baker no, I'm Overland. New, I'm new here. That's, you know, <laughs> that's all good with that. Cool. Okay, so you came down um, with Michael from Pruitt Knives of Valor. Yeah. Um, and but you have your own whole thing. Like yeah. I saw your sign. You're yeah. kind of running your own. Yeah. So. Talk a little bit about, well, tell us your name and, and, and tell us about Wild Man Know How and all so, that stuff. So, I'm Peyton Timms. Um, my YouTube handle, Instagram handle is all Wild Man Know How. Um, the, the short version of that is outdoor skills, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, you do a lot of stuff. I grew up camping and hiking in the outdoors, time in the military, and yep. you acquire a, a certain set of skills over the years. And so, a lot of people ask about that and take interest in it. And so, uh, there's a lot of a lot of space out there for people wanting to learn how to do things, sure. just sharpening knives. That's how I ended up with with Pruitt. Is, oh, really? Yeah, so, I didn't realize yeah, that. Yeah, so I know him. Well, I've known him off and on. Um, but when he started making knives, I was doing some R and D for him because I already had the channel. Mm. And he's like, "Hey, man, you use knives all the time. You know, I'm not just making play pretties. Like, yeah. I want to know that my my uh, for my temper is going to hold up and all that stuff." Yeah. Um, so I got a couple knives from him early on, and then he started doing expos. And I was like, "Well, let me come, you know, kick it with the expo with you. Yeah. I'll help you. I'll do some some sharpening." So, uh, so that's what it ended up what being with it. So I think I sharpened like sixty knives in two days while we're out here. Holy cow, dude! Um, yeah, that lets him do the selling and forging, and I can kind of play on the yeah. other side of it. And so and are you? Are you? Customers. I didn't. I didn't see, but are, I know obviously you're sharpening 
like if someone came up with a Pruitt knife, a Valor knife, and they yeah. wanted to get it sharpened, yeah. you would do that. Yeah, you usually but, don't have to sharpen, resharpen his. Right, you right, just right. Drop them. Good. But yeah, right, if, right. if we do, yeah. That, so his, when you get him and, you, and he makes them, you can send it back to him and he will resharpen it. Yeah. If somebody came up with it here because I had the stuff, yeah, sure, I would go yeah, ahead yeah, and yeah. do that. But a lot of but it is a lot of people, personal knives. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Yeah. So yeah. people just come up and they're like, this, man, honestly, we should have done that. We've got uh, several knives in yeah. here. That are just random kitchen knives. Well, and a lot of people, that was the case because, you know, you, you run your kitchen sets and you don't think about it until right. whenever you're using it. And so right. a lot of people are like, I'm going to go get my kitchen knives out of my rig and bring them to you right. and let you sharpen them. So, right, right, right. Yeah, it was fun. Well, we were chatting, or I think last night me and you were chatting a little bit. Or no, no, it was the first day we were chatting. Yeah. And the whole time I was talking with you, I was like, man, I know this guy from somewhere. I've I've, uh-huh. I've, I've seen his face. I can't figure it out. And then um, I went and looked, and I was subscribed to Wild Man Know How. Yeah. And I checked, and then I saw this picture of you with your leather apron sharpening an axe. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah. I know this dude. Yeah, absolutely. That's the funny thing about yeah. this place, too, is there's so many content creators and different people oh, that yeah. we see online, and you run into them in person, and sometimes you don't always realize, like, yeah. That's who it, yeah, it who puts it, it puts into that weird context for it. Right. Well, that's the same thing. Like I had I'd never met you, right? But I know a lot of the same people, and you know, right. Brute had talked about you and everything, and so, yeah, it was one of those like I, cool. I feel like I know you, but this is the first time we've yeah. met. But yeah, no, I love it. So what kind of knives you got here? Are these uh, stu- that's a, that's a Pruitt knife. That's a PKV knife. Let's I just took it off because it doesn't fit in the chair grate because um, it's got a little bit of an angle. Oh um, yeah, Pruitt, what are we calling that one? Is that a butter knife? He's he's distracted over there. Hey hey, what are we calling this one? Is this a butter have knife? We, have we named it? No. I'm going to call it the wild man. That's what I'm going to call it. With. There we <laughs> go. We just named this the, knife yeah, live that's the, on that's the, the wild show. man right there. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of naming going on. The, the I butter love knife. It. You, you retagged me with, what was it, Mountain Blippy last night? Mountain Blippy. I, I forgot the, about that. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good time. Yeah. Oh, we had a blast. Um, okay. Expo. Okay. How many times have you been to Moore? This is your first time this at Moore? This is my first time at Moore. This okay. is my second Expo. So okay, you did Jasper. I did Jasper Jeep Jam, okay. and then did that. I, I just link up with Pruitt, so yep. I bring my my stuff for my YouTube channel, promote it a little bit. Most of what I'm doing is helping him. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. So in terms of this, you know, obviously Jasper Jeep Jam was a small first year event. Yeah, this is a very established five six year yeah event. So very different experiences, obviously. Both cool oh, yeah, events. Sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, what were your takeaways from this one? So. A lot of people talked about how friendly everybody was, which, like, right. that's a huge thing. You know, I, I ended up in several people's camps. I just kind of floated around yep. in the evening, chatted with anybody. I'm kind of like Pruitt. I'm an extrovert. I've never met a stranger in my life. <laughs> right. um, so it was just really cool how, like, open everybody was about, hey, yeah, this is my setup. This is my stuff. Yeah. You know, we were swapping tools back and forth with people, helping out. Um, I had dinner with several people in camp. I, I ate almost none of what I brought because yep. um, we just show up chatting with people, and it happens that way. But, uh like it was really cool to see how passionate everybody was mm-hmm. about their craft or their product yeah. or whatever they're doing. Yeah. There's a lot of groups here that are uh, using overlanding or outdoor adventures for helping for like veteran recovery or for mental health recovery. You know, yep. we talked about that. Both of those things are you know important things to me. Yeah, and why is uh, that? I mean, I know, but tell, yeah. Tell well, the I mean, I'm a, I'm a veteran and I'm a mental health therapist, and yeah. and I see like it's been beneficial to me and myself and my own self care. You know, getting away, stepping out of like your normal. Yeah. office routine but there's a lot of healing power in it um you know not to get too granola but no. there's, a, there's a lot of stuff out there that really helps with it so yeah. seeing how passionate people are about that and not just those groups yeah but i mean the equipment right i mean there's there's sure. obviously there's guys out here that are salesmen right. but that's they're also still passionate about the product and really cool to be like hey man come check this out let me show you what i got and people are using it in a real world application yes it's not just like yeah i don't know we just picked it up last week i don't know what this thing right is. So right that was super cool uh, just going around to different vendors checking out their products um getting yeah. to getting to play with stuff mess with yeah. stuff i mean that's what that's what i like to do yeah just, everyone in here is kind of coming for the most part is coming in here having done this and yeah. they and they have some experience under their belt you yeah. know what i mean so it's like it's it's a very knowledgeable yeah a, a experience driven community like right. and that's what's cool to talk to people whether they've been doing it for six months or six years you chat with them and you can learn something yeah from just about anything. yeah that's i and i've told this i told this to chris the the one that put on and puts on this event I love the event, and I do love seeing the vendors, and I love seeing the products, but I come for the people. Oh, yeah. Like, that is that is the biggest takeaway for me. Yeah. Every single time I come here, I make new friends, yeah. 
and I get to meet people that I would otherwise only communicate with online. Yeah. And uh, well, and you pick yeah. up right where you left off too. Yeah, like, there's guys that like I don't know, but we're like, okay, we're into some of the same stuff, and then you meet him, like, okay, this this dude is exactly as I thought he was right. <laughs> on his Instagram or on yeah. his YouTube, you know. Right. And and I mean we we not only not only vendors but we talked to so many people that were coming to visit, yeah. um, and we just struck up conversations with people right off the bat, never never batted an eye. It's like you know old buddies, even though it's guys you've never met before, guys you may only met one or two times. There's people here that I only see when we do expos or campouts. Yeah, um, and we just pick up where we left off. Yep. It's the same running gag. It's like we've known each other for years. So that's so that part's super fun for me. Yeah, um, you know you got to have a good time. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks, dude, for popping yeah, on man, here. Thank you. Awesome. I appreciate it. I'm linking yep. to all your stuff. Yeah. Y'all go cool. follow Sounds follow good. Wildman Know How if you want to learn how to make a fire, sharpen axe, do anything manly and awesome. He's your guy. All the things. Thanks. Thanks, bro. Yep. All right. The prettiest one of the night. <laughs> and and I hope y'all know this is my wife. I'm not just like a weirdo. <laughs> this is so <laughs> so <laughs> weird. <laughs> All right, pull that down. <laughs> I, I you couldn't hear him, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay. Um, let's. Me and you kind of went everywhere all all weekend. Yeah. And we saw a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, and you've brought some samples that we purchased. Some things. Tell us a little bit about what stood out to you. Well, this granola. So this uh, Overland Chef Pantry, mm -hmm. they had this granola and they had samples out. Holy cow! It's incredible. It's so good. It's she so uses good. brown butter. Yeah. Which, if you know, oh. brown butter is makes everything better. I don't know what that means, but it tastes <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> it tastes so good. So we got all three flavors. Yeah. That they have, and they're all three. So she, she gave us a little sample, yeah, and and I ate it, and then she went to get samples of the other two, and I was like, you don't <laughs> even need necessary. to get those. We're just going to buy all three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, and then the, they really had good. some barbecue rubs, Yeah. which we grill a ton in the summer, so and we're out at the house. Yeah. So And these looked really good. So we got some of that um, Kendrick yeah. barbecue. Do you know, did they tell us where they're out of? No. Let okay. me see. I didn't ask. I didn't know if they're local or. Uh, looks like Colorado, Castle Rock, Colorado. Okay. Overlandchef.com is their website. Okay, cool. And then this is KendrickBarbecue.co. Okay, so this is a product they're reselling, which makes sense because they also had Tate's um, yeah. Overland Spice. Uh, well, she they were talking about how she made this, so they were here. So yeah, so um, that's her product, is, yeah. and then they're a reseller probably for that yeah. product. Or maybe they're a partner. I don't know. But yeah. she's definitely the one making yeah. the granola. And it's so good. It is. Yeah. Cool. So that was awesome. Uh, that mm -hmm. was super tasty. And it's not just like regular granola. Like I would I would eat that uh, <laughs> just by itself yeah. as a snack. And like, they have this cocoa one that I want to put on ice cream. <laughs> yes. So good. It'd be so good. All right. Yeah. So that one was good. What mm -hmm. else stood out to you? Uh, well, the coffee one, what's the name of that coffee place again? The, the roaster? Logic. Yeah, we got the Rhonda. Yeah, the Rhonda Roast. Rhonda Roast. Yeah. Yes. That's really good. Yeah, it's great coffee. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I think they're called Logic Overland. I think Overland's yeah. in, the, in the name. I think so, too, yeah. Yeah. I've seen lots of uh, people camping out here with that coffee sitting on their yeah. rig and stuff. It's so good. It's kind of become a popular brand in this space. Yeah. Um, what What else? Anything else? No, just hanging out with people. It's yeah. been super fun. Meeting new people, seeing mm -hmm. people we only see at more. There's some people that we see every single year at more, and this is like the only place we run into them. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. That is really cool. And I, I love doing the expos because you you are here. I come, <laughs> I come here. And now I get to convince people that you exist instead of just like <laughs> I'm, I'm, not just I'm married to this fake person that I just <laughs> lie about. Yeah. Everyone's just like, you always mention your wife. We've never seen her. I think it's a bunch of baloney, but yeah. she exists. I Here promise. I am. Yeah, yeah, it was a super cool event. Um, so a couple ones that stood out to me. Let's see. I, I had a list because I can't remember without a list. Forged Authority. Okay, this is crazy. They make a self-deployable wind turbine that mounts to a vehicle. So you think solar, that's what everyone uses in the space. These oh, guys, it's like wind energy. It's a wind turbine. It collapses down on itself. You push a button. It uses an air compressor to extend itself up 
like 15 feet high and then the wind turbine runs and generous and so what he was saying he was like you put solar on your roof Mm -hmm. you put this you get to camp sun goes down most people would rely on a battery charge wouldn't be able to keep charging their their systems the wind keeps power going into the battery systems and he was talking about they're working to get a contract with the military to put it on every Humvee, like in That's the. That's cool. I was like, bro, if that lands, you're gonna be the richest, <laughs> loaded, richest dude. Yeah. But I just never seen that. That was That's cool, cool to me. Um, Michael, when he was over here with Brit Nose, he mentioned roller cam. Uh, I've mentioned that. That was on my list too. Those things are so cool. I have a ton of them in the rig, and I'm gonna be doing some videos on that. And then I've got to mention a Fittipaldi off-road wheels. So my. My truck was in the booth all week over there. Yeah. Those dudes were super cool. They called me today. They were like, hey, swing by and gave me like a hat and a shirt and a koozie. Lanyard. And lanyard. Yeah. Uh, gave me a $150 gift card for being a <laughs> And they gave me the wheels. Like, yeah. just, you know, and I, I am a relatively small channel in the space. And the fact mm-hmm. that they were, were so generous in that way just makes me want to rep them. So yeah. I'm running the Terra Series, the F1, F100s. I think that's right. It's the Terra Series. They look like beadlocks, but they're not true beadlocks. I did the bronze rim with the matte black interior. And I just think they're they sick. They look so good. They're so yeah. cool. But they have everything. If you want true beadlock, you can get true beadlock. I mean, they, they've got a little bit. They've got the more military style hubs that look kind of like the black rhino thing. So that's super cool. Um, but anyways, yeah, Fittipaldi. I, I only knew them as the race car company yeah and they're they're obviously a lot more than that so y'all check them out and the last thing that i wanted to mention that stood out to me and then we'll we'll wrap this up this has been super fun um last thing is a race uh, against blindness now I, mm-hmm. I i put a post on this yesterday um and this is just a super cool cause and they're using the overland community to help raise funds for a clinical trial for an extremely rare cause of childhood blindness. It's so rare that they can't get funding for a clinical trial for a cure that's already been developed, but just legally can't be administered because it has to go through the trial the process. Trials, yeah. And um, But it's such a small, it affects such a small number of people, they don't see it as extremely important. They gotta tackle stuff that's impacting more people, more people yeah. which is sad, but that's just the nature of uh, where we are. Um, right now with the number of diseases and all that Mm. anyway so I met Steve I spent a week with Steve and his 10 year old son who is impacted by this uh, disease and uh, man he's just the coolest kid in the world Mm -hmm. you know it's one thing to be born blind but it's another thing to be born with sight and have it taken from you away yeah and and so I just want to help those guys in any way that I can Um, they uh, I you know just so we're completely uh, transparent, they reached out to me to hire me to help me do some marketing material for them initially. And I had no intentions of promoting this. They're not paying me to promote this. It was just some marketing material. I had no intentions of promoting it, no intentions of donating. But after spending the time with them and hearing the story and seeing it, I, uh, I've i already made a donation. You and I both made a donation. Yeah. And, uh, and I've started promoting it. Because I just think it's one of those things that, uh, like I said in the post, if, if you have a beating heart, you want to help. Yeah. And um, so they're raffling away a sweet brand new Tundra build with tons of partners. Taruka, Extrusion, Zero Breeze. I mean, there's a million of them. I linked all of them. And, uh, and then they've got this Expedition uh, trailer on it um, that Hayden and his team over at Backroads put together. It's, it's incredible. So a race to cure blindness. Website's going to be in the description down below. You guys go make a donation. You don't need a mo, the uh, you know a a um, what's the word? You don't need an incentive. Yeah. You don't need an <laughs> yeah. incentive. Yeah. To to go do this, but you can um, you know you can potentially win and feel good about helping an important cause. Yeah. So that's what I have to say about that. Any final words from more twenty four? It's real cold. It's real cold. <laughs> and with that, <laughs> we're going to wrap this up. Thanks, you guys, for joining. I appreciate y'all. Um, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm going to go put some socks and shoes on. That's really smart. Peace out. See y'all.